I didn't really go back to the subject of war as such. I went to look at the 20th century when it ended. That night in the Millennium Dome, I thought the Millennium is just an arithmetical trick. What we should be thinking about here is the end of the century, which has been like no other. Um, and as shown human beings, particularly in this continent, we in Europe who gave birth to the Renaissance, the Enlightenment, prided ourselves as Empire ended as being in the forefront of science and learning and increasing um, welfare for all our people. And we, we made this political transition from that world of, uh, of empire to this modern social democratic world at a cost of killing tens, perhaps hundreds of millions of our people. And it occurred to me then that was this through bad judgment, bad political judgments, bad faith, uh, bad people, or was it that there is something fundamentally flawed with the human being? So that once the, um, the, the ability to kill people en masse became available to them, there was never really any doubt but that they would, of course, take it up. And this is something to do with the terrible instability of the human being. We are a genetic group. We don't need to have written all Beethoven in order to survive and have bread and have you know, uh, our competitors in the water course. We had this huge leap in evolution which has left us in the country on stage. One in a hundred of us is psychotic and mad as well. And uh, these are the themes behind the book as I've tried to thread them through the life of one man. And it's a really fairly characteristic 20th century life. So this is um, a, a, a revelation for you almost that what this whole idea of, of humanity as being an inferior being rather than a superior being. Yes, absolutely. And I think this is something that we begin to see during the First World War. You know, when was it that we first, when was it that we first began to think that a single human life has no value? It must have been about 15, 19, 16, I don't know. Um, and but presumably many, many centuries before that, with all the killing and the yes, wars of, of the 30 years. I'm not trying to pretend this is the first time human beings have behaved in a barbaric and terrible way, of course, we lost the moment and so on. But uh, I think that there was a sense in which we had to realign ourselves as against the natural world. You see this very poignant in the letters from the soldiers who, who comment on you know, the rabbits and the rats like their natural world. And you see this great reassessment that comes out of the war.